city just keeps growing. For West Fargo leaders, it forces the city to keep an eye on the future. And that includes transportation needs. In this case, what is needed along Cheyenne Street? Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker has our story. You might think this street and this street are miles away, two different cities perhaps. But they're actually both in West Fargo. West Fargo grew from a kind of a smaller town. It's now growing into a larger community. And um, our infrastructure and roads need to grow with it. This is the core downtown. This is the historical downtown. The fastest growing city in North Dakota started along Cheyenne Street. That's why the city of West Fargo is throwing out ideas to make travel along this historic roadway easier for everyone. Those ideas range from adding elevated medians to Cheyenne Street, placing traffic lights along the road to avoid stop-and-go hassles at 7th Avenue West, seen here, and even cutting the distance pedestrians and bicyclists have to travel in between streets. The intention is to throw a lot of ideas out there, get public feedback, and, and try and take the best plan, plan and move forward. Moving forward will depend heavily on what the public wants, says Matt Marshall, who works for the city of West Fargo. Regardless of what's done, people living and working in West Fargo know something on Cheyenne Street has to change to accommodate the growing population. Even if they don't live on Cheyenne, they use Cheyenne on a regular basis, and it's becoming dangerous. Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live. To learn more about the downtown transportation study and voice your opinion, go to valleynewslive.com and look for this.